Hello, mountain lovers and Austria fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jana, and this is Curves on the Road. Today, I take you to this wonderful city. We're in Innsbruck, in the Tyrolean part of the Alps. And normally people come here in winter to ski. But we're here in July to see what else is in the city than just the ski slopes. Let's do it! We're in the heart of Innsbruck here. Behind me there is a monument of the city. It's the balcony with golden roof where the nobility was looking at normal people during markets or some performances happening in the square around here. This is how it looks here during the day. And this is Innsbruck at night. Innsbruck is the capital of Tyrol and the fifth largest city in Austria. We stopped for lunch. The typical meal that you can get here in Austria is schnitzel with potato salad. Don't go for fries, try the potato salad. It's really good. It's a little on the sour side, but delicious. And look at the size of the schnitzel. Wow, delicious. It's definitely not an Austrian invention, but I love their apple juice mixed with sparkling water. It's just so refreshing. And this is the only place I know that they actually sell it in the bottles. Love it, cheers. After lunch, let's walk around the River Inn. The Triumphal Arch was built in 1765 on the occasion of the wedding of Archduke Leopold and the Spanish Princess Maria Luisa. Unfortunately, the Emperor died shortly after the wedding, so the arch also commemorates the death of the husband of Maria Theresa, not only the wedding of her son. For our stay, we picked the Alf Hotel. We stayed only for one night, so I don't have very detailed information, but I'll share with you what I know. First of all, parking. You can park there for free. You don't need to reserve in advance. When we were there in summer, it was fairly busy. So keep in mind, there is just limited amount of parking spots, but we always found one. The chicken was super fast and efficient. It's obvious that this hotel is used a lot by the lovers of winter sports. The room is not the biggest, but it's absolutely sufficient and the beds have a hole in the middle it's basically just two single beds stuck together so be careful not to end up on the ground if you want to charge your phone the sockets are under the ninth stand we haven't tested the tv there was a nice view of the mountains from the window and of course there is super fresh air nice sized wardrobe with hangers there is a little safe and a mini fridge. I was glad the fridge was empty for our water. 
We didn't take a bath, just a shower. It was perfectly fine. And you know I always appreciate a good makeup mirror. And of course there were clean towels and basic toiletries in the bathroom. The breakfast had both warm and cold options. I would definitely recommend their cheese and dried ham. I'm quite sure you wouldn't leave hungry. And it wasn't very crowded because, as I said, this is more of a winter location. There's the Olympic Stadium behind me. Innsbruck hosted Winter Olympic Games not once, but twice. I'll show you the dates here because obviously I don't remember it. And we will look around and I'll show you how nice it is around here. It's gorgeous. The mountains everywhere, the fresh air. I don't I know that with the busy street behind me it's hardly to believe, but even here it's a fresh air and it's lovely. The Olympic Stadium hosts sporting events and of course occasional concerts. One of the places that are recommended to visit is the Ski Jam near Innsbruck. When you see this white building, turn right and there is a parking lot you can leave the car. After a short walk, you'll get to the Ski Jam. Behind me is the Ski Jump, one of the Olympic disciplines of Winter Olympic Games. They changed part of it for the sky view, so we should have perfect views of the Alps there. And you can take a little elevator that goes to the top, so luckily for me, no walking. Yay! It costs 10 euros to get into this area and the lift is included. I'm not a big fan of these cable cars, but if you want the views, you simply have to go up. There's an elevator to get you to the top. at the very top of the sky view on the top of the ski jump. We wanted first to take the elevator for the ski jumpers but for some reason they didn't want to let us. So there are actually two elevators. One goes here for the views and the other one is for the competitors. It's high but the views are amazing. This is... I'm scared of heights. You guys know that. But this is such a high height that I'm, yeah, fine, this is like an airplane. Stunning views. If you get here in a sunny day, definitely don't miss out on the opportunity to see the whole city and the mountains behind it. Stunning. Worth it. 100% recommend. And if you really want to pee in the air, there is the option. And then you can go to the church to thank God you survived the cable car ride. We're now in Wilton Abbey. It consists of a church and the monastery.
The first monastery was built here around 878. And our final stop was Schloss Ambras. We went to the castle and the parking is paid even on weekends, so be careful for that. In the rest of the city, the weekend parking is free. It is a Renaissance castle and palace, and it served as family residence of Archduke Ferdinand II. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. There he is. You can see huge collections of art in the castle and cute peacocks in the gardens. So that's it. That's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give me a big thumb up like a mountain? And you can subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And bye!